Hello everyone, I'm going to be training my little puppy Cloud here. He's a terrier mix and he's uh, about 13 weeks old today. Um, I've pre-measured the amount of food he's going to be eating and today um, I'm going to be doing a real-time training session where we're working on the concept of doing multiple behaviors before a treat. So I am going to warm him up a little bit because I haven't worked on the platforms in a while, but sometimes I feel like, and this is just my own opinion, when you ask for multiple behaviors in the same area, they're more likely to think that they got the behavior wrong because that's usually how you train something and if they make an error, they're right where they are. So instead, I'm gonna cue him to go to a different area to do the different behaviors. So I can ask for multiple behaviors and then he's seeing that he's done the behavior right, he gets to go to the next platform. Okay, so he has these two blue platforms which are just human exercise mats that I affixed Velcro strips to so they wouldn't slip on the carpet. So to begin with, I'm gonna warm up by giving him a treat for every behavior. So I'm gonna cue him to go platform Good boy. And then cue him to sit. Good. Free. Good job. So for him, free means come to me. Go platform. Good. Down. Good boy. And now for pause up. Pause up. Free. Good boy. Oops, I dropped a piece. Good job. Pause up. Let's see if I can get him to turn right next to the couch. Good job. Good boy. Okay, so now we're gonna slip in a, a time where he does two behaviors before a treat. And I like to give them uh, a verbal praise, which is good, which means you did it right. But the click is the is the marker that means a treat comes after every click. So you might not agree with that type of training. You can, if you don't like to use verbal praise, you can just be quiet. So you can, um, I'll do an example of that first, where I cue him, I'm gonna get two behaviors. So I'm gonna ask him to go platform and sit. It's actually quite a few behaviors, but two position changes. Free, go platform, down. So he's done two behaviors for the treat, like that. And I mark and I reinforce. Or I could say good and reinforce a different marker that he knows. So what I like to do um, myself is I'll just give some verbal praise as well because I don't do obedience where you have to be quiet the whole time. So I like to have my verbal praise also be in there to tell the dog they, they're doing it right. Are you ready? Good, go platform. Oh, I got the cue wrong. It's pause up. But uh, the visual cue, pause up, is easy for him. So I'm gonna get him to do a little bit of turning. Good, and then I'm gonna cue him to go here and sit. And um, I'm talking to you, but I'm giving him visual cues as well. So that's why he's doing the behaviors. Cloud free, go platform, down. So now I'm gonna mark him again so that it doesn't always get harder and harder. So basically you're training on an average. So if you want him to do an average of three behaviors before a treat, then you're not gonna do three behaviors then four behaviors before a treat. You're going to do three behaviors and then I like to make it drastically lower the next time, so one behavior before a treat. So now I'm gonna ask for three behaviors and, and then mark and reinforce. And the wonderful thing about little dogs, I'm being sarcastic, is they can't eat very much food. So I only have this much left to work with in this training session. Free. So I'm gonna feed him. Good job. And then I'm going to um, cue him to do th uh, three behaviors before a treat. I, I wanted to tell you though, that I'm sitting here stuffing food in his face because I made him do quite a long duration down while I was talking. So you have to consider that what is a behavior? A behavior. Is one behavior one verbal cue? No. Um, a, a long duration down might be easy for one dog, 
and seem like, uh, you know, if you're working on an average of behaviors, it might seem like one behavior, but if it's something super hard for the dog, then I would definitely reinforce that behavior. So maybe spinning or sitting is easy and downing is hard, then you might always try to reinforce the down and then work on asking for a down. Um, uh, once that behavior is stronger, then you can start putting that behavior on an average. So you really want to only use behaviors. I forgot to mention this at the beginning. You, sh you should really only play this game where you're moving on to an average rate of reinforcement with behaviors that are super strong for the dog. So I picked ones that are really good for him. And also, he, as you can see, he really enjoys going to the platform. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to ask him to down. Good. Free. Go platform. Over here. <laughs> Free. Good job. Sit. <laughs> he was thinking for a little bit. Free. Pause up. Good. And we're going to turn. 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 Good boy. Awesome. And now we're going to jump up here. Sit. And I'm going to give him a treat because we did three. And then I'm going to cue him to wave. Good boy. And during this training process where you're asking for more behaviors before a treat or the situation is different, you can reinforce behaviors that aren't as pretty as you would want them to be um, normally. So if you add criteria, you expect the behavior to look a little bit less uh, good than you would want it to look. Hey, Pupsy. Did you see when I, um, <laughs> when I asked him to go over there, I almost aborted the training session and, and uh, went back to the one-to-one -one because he, he refused. He was like, no, that seems dumb. That's not a good idea. I haven't got my treat yet for being over here. But then he's learning, oh, if I go there, I'll get the treat. Wave. Good boy. Now I'm going to make it super easy. Go platform. He's not done eating. Oh, he's got to think. He's got to think. He said, I've done more tricks than I, than I got treats. <laughs> Good boy. So I'm going to give him multiple treats here just to make it fun. And then make this platform easy again. So he doesn't get superstitious that it was this one that was super hard. <laughs> Free. Good. And now I'm going to have him do a little bit of turning and then we're done with the treats. Good boy. Good boy. Great. So here's the remainder of the treats. I'm going to let him eat the treats like that. And then I'm going to say, all done. See, they're all gone. You did good. And now we're going to go out to the bathroom. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to support my work, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. You can also become a supporting member of channel Kiko Pup by clicking the join button, which also gains you access to one extra video a month in the community section of this channel. See you later.